What's going on, my fellow collectors? I'm back again, back again, Moogie215, and I am staying alive. Wanted to represent with another figure review, guys. I told you I was going to represent. I'm on the Ultimate Collectors channel, and I uh, got hot toys coming. So, just sit back and enjoy the show. As you can see, got the Iron Man Mark 21 Midas. Hmm, a few words. I didn't think I was going to be able to get Midas. I thought it was going to be a Hong Kong exclusive. Um, we all wanted to keep our fingers crossed that Sideshow was getting this figure. And it happened. They got it. And I was just like, wow. Sideshow are really in bed with Hot Toys, boy. Because they pretty much get what they want nowadays. From Hot Toys, that is. At least that's what I think. But, um... Yeah, so... They let us know short notice. Uh, you had to buy it straight up. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like, they like, look, we going to get you off with this money real quick. If you're going to be a fool enough to buy it, then buy it. But you got this amount of days. I think it was like, it was up for pre-order for like 24 hours, if I'm not mistaken. And you had to pay the full amount off. It wasn't no uh, flex pays or nothing like that. And I'm kind of used to that type work when it comes to buying figures where you just got to pay for it straight up and pre-order it. Um, that's how 3A is, basically. I mean, 3A figures, uh, you you know, you don't just buy them straight up when you buy them from the actual dealer. You have to pre-order. And sometimes you don't even really, you know, you don't really kind of know the, how the final product is going to be. Sometimes they might change it up. At least with Hot Toys, you know pretty much what you see is what you're going to get. But uh, So yeah, I'm used to that type work. Um, and I bought it. I bought it. Um, I'm a fan of the color. I'm a fan of the Mark 7. And basically this is just the Mark 7 in like an all pristine type rare color, which is the gold. And it just reminds me of uh, the comics, you know, when Tony Stark, you know, you look into his lab, his uh, workshop, and he has all these different type unique suits. And he always sports an all yellow type suit. So this is the comics. And this just reminds me of like one of them special type suits, uh, all yellow, which is represented to be gold. And, uh, and what suit to make it in is the Mark 7. And like I said, I love everything about the Mark Seven. If I, it may be my favorite suit, looking up at it, out of all the suits, uh, I, I gotta look at them all. And one day I'll do a video. That's a good video I should do, and um, let you know what I think about all the suits. But right now, I would say this Mark Twenty One, it's holding the crown. <laughs> all right, but yeah, I've been wrapping up. What three minutes? Wow. All right, so here's the uh, the pieces. Bang! What you see is what you get. You don't get much at all. Like it's like they like we go fuck you and take away the accessories. <laughs> and they took away the accessories, guys, because all you get is just this. You don't get everything the Mark Seven gets. I mean, you might as well get the Mark Seven. Like I said, this is just strictly for the hardcore that want a different type of color in the suit. All right, but you get the hands. As you can see right here, love articulated fingers. I mean, this is one of the my favorite parts of owning the Iron Man figures because of the articulation fingers, you know. And love this gold look going on, like the different uh, tints and stuff that you can see tint shading, you know, around the fingertips, a little bit of the weathering, somewhat. Um, then you got these shutter pieces for the the hidden rockets they're like the uh closing like flat when it's unarmed then you have the straight type fist gauntlets you know they go over like that basically um and then these extra pieces the when the rockets aren't armed you get these pieces that you can put on unarmed i mean uh, yeah, the box is just all gold, Mark 21, exclusive type box, nice, looks like, a it looks like a block of gold, 
<laughs> Looks like a block of gold sitting on the table right here. But uh yeah, I like that. I like the design. It's cool. It's basic, you know, it's not it's not one of them boxes like, oh my gosh, it's the best box, but you know, it's a nice clean box. Alright, so with that being said, let's jump into the figure. And bang, baby. Here is the Mark 21. Midas. I got the Midas touch. Everything I touch, it turns to gold. Yes, Tony Stark has the Midas touch, guys. What a beautiful suit this is. Ah, in the color, I mean, I already explained why I like the gold color, there's no need, but uh, just how good it looks on this suit, I mean, it's one of the main reasons why I got it, it almost makes it look like a different suit from the Mark 7, if that makes any sense. Um... You know, like I said, if you've seen Mark 7 reviews, you pretty know what everything this suit can do. Let me just give you a full 360. Not going to be a long, drawn-out review. Just let you see. And this is one of them poses I said to you, like, all the time. You know, when I say all the time, like, you know when you got a nice pose when, you know, you can look. It looks good from every angle. Yes, indeedy. He's basically just hovering in the air, ready to attack. He's armed and ready to go. As you can see, he has his wrist gauntlet rockets ready to blow some shit up. Then he has his trapezoid type rockets next to the shoulders, ready to launch. And again, he has his flaps just like kind of got him propelling in the air with the open palm type blast supporting me with you know to be able to hugger hover sorry all the flaps are open even the tiny little flaps at the calf area they open up somewhat as you can see just a little bit not a lot just that little bit that you need where you like wow I love this suit I mean just look at the design at the bottom let's check it out Start from the bottom and work our way up to the top. The lines, like I said before, the gold and the two different color two tones really make this bad boy pops. As you can see. Nice design at the foot area. Love these boot type design. These mech type boot design he has. Very narrow and cut very fine right around like on the calf area as you can see with the hidden tight kneecaps I mean these Iron Man figures are definitely you know awesome when it comes to high end joints because even though it's a suit so you know you can excuse like you know certain type parts you may see like you know like right here you know, at the top, you know, you'll see that. But you're like, you know what? It's a suit. It's supposed to look that way. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, the calf area up to the thigh. Awesome design in the thigh armor. As you can see, uh, these top parts come off like the Mark 7. But again, they didn't give you everything that the Mark 7 has. So, this is just strictly for the fanboys who love this color and love the Mark 7, I think. Because it wasn't even in the movie. Overpriced, hell yeah. But, uh, psh, is he worth it to me? Hell yeah. <laughs> because it's all about what you're willing to pay. And I was willing to pay the 300 instead of paying 600 or 500. I'm not trying to do that. But, uh, you know, all the LED eyes work. The eyes look very well together. You know, they're bright, super bright. Hot toys are adding bright uh, type uh, LEDs this time around. Chest flap comes off. You know, mad articulation in the head. Breaking flaps are out and ready to go. But yeah, guys, uh, I borrowed this uh, dramatic pole from my Jordan. So I'm going to wrap it up. Like I said, not too much to talk about with this figure. 
it's just the design is very beautiful. Let me get up for a little bit. Let you see a little bit up. Sorry for the shakiness. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, I don't really, like I said, I don't have no complaints about the figure. A lot of people say it's kind of light. That is, uh, one of the problems that people don't really like about these suits. They say, you know, it just feels like a toy, but, <laughs> eh, it is a toy, though. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, the die cast is probably better for you. You know, um, you know, again, uh, there's statues that are pretty light. So, you know, that's out there. And, uh. You know, this is not a statue, it's a figure, and it's kind of light, so, I mean, the die cast would bring that quality to the figure, I think, but, uh, again, that's not going to stop me, because these figures, you know, feel light, it's not going to stop me from collecting them, because at the end of the day, even though you have a die cast figure, you know, if I had a die cast figure sitting next to this, it still would be hard to tell which one is not die cast, so, if that makes any sense to you guys. But, uh, yeah, so, again, <laughs> I am very pleased to have this bad boy in the collection. Uh, I love the color, so, it's very welcomed. And, uh, stay tuned for more reviews, guys. Alrighty. Moogie215, and I'm signing out. Peace.